So I'm four, I'm, I'll be 47 years old in about three or four weeks. And staffmeup.com says that I'm 47 years old and I weigh 195 pounds, that only one in 16,308 men in the United States my age can do 275 or whatever. Well, fuck it. I guess I can do it. No steroids and no Viagra. I didn't even warm up. This is how I warm up every day. I mean, I look small. I have small wrists. No gym chalk, no nothing. A lot of girls in GB have bigger wrists than me. They're farm girls. They grew up working on the farm or whatever. But fuck it, size matters not. I go for broke. So I'm going to warm up with 275 right here. And I'm probably the only... 47-year-old man in Great Barrington that has an apartment that actually warms up with 275. How many 47-year-old men actually lift 275 like I do in my own apartment that are real and sincere without any steroids or Viagra? How many police officers age 47 years old in Great Barrington that work for the GB police can do 275 at my age? How many can do it? says that I'm one out of 16,000, stackmeup.com says that I'm one out of 16,308 men. I don't know if I believe that shit. Fuck it. I'm going to do some real weight now. No dicking around. Do my whole fucking goddamn weight set. I could use, you know, cheat devices like this. Just give me some extra reps. Slingshot. I could use some wrist sports. But fuck it. I'm just going to go for broke for one or two good ones. And to my friend Dan Loves, I can't bench press right. Fuck you, Daniel Love. You're a piece of shit. I'm a real man. All you haters, just get over it. Oh, fucking wait, sir. One or two good ones. Three hundred and ten pounds. Body weight of one hundred and ninety. No steroids and no Viagra. So all you haters get over that. I always like to like think about my life. Think about all the stress I've been under. That is easy, just 255. That's where I meditate and I reflect about all the stress. And the way it represents all the things I say, Derek, you can't do this. Derek, you can't do that. Derek, you got a disability. The weight is everything to me. It's the insurmountable things in my life that say, you can't do this, you can't do that. And the weight is the negative energy. And me lifting the weight is building a new foundation for success and positive thinking. So 255, just some meditation and some reflection in my own life. Positive energy. I like to just think about the weight. alive. Without steroids, without drugs, just something that makes me feel good about myself, you know? Better than drinking, better than shooting up with heroin. You know, how many 47-year-old men even have a weight set like this? How many 47-year-old guys that are single 
say, fuck it, I'm just going to go for broke and see what I can do. Weightlifting is positive energy, so is creative writing. I'm not just a jock. I love writing, I love art, I love caring for my animals, and I love working out. These are things that make my life worthwhile. Positive things like working out, working on my strength, working on my arms. Taking care of my pet ferret, my animals, like my baby, my ferret, working on my body, caring for animals. This is what gives me the strength to overcome all the negative things in my life. Positive things that really build the future. This is my ferret. He's my baby. He's my child. He's my son. He's my inspiration. So there's more to life than lifting weights. There's caring for animals. There's love. There's art. And weightlifting actually is an extension of our consciousness, what makes life possible, what gives everything hope. And this is my ferret, my child, my everything. Thank you for watching. Positive energy is the way to go.